So it is peak rainy season. People okay. are experiencing leakage. Today's video, we are going to talk about how to avoid leakage. Now, I want you to help me even before we go into the details. When it comes to ranking of different roofing sheets, roofing material, and roofing type, keep roof the secret or hidden roof. Which one will you prefer? For leakage prevention, I'll rank the hip roof over the secret. Because for the hip roof, the pitch is a bit high, which helps in the normal flow for the secret roof. The pitch isn't that high. So for leakage issues i'll prefer the hip roof over the hidden roof one problem with roofing is that once you start solving leakage issues the more they start coming for beauty i'll choose the hidden roof over hip roof the next ranking right mm -hmm. between trusses and wood in terms of leakage roof which would you choose okay in terms of leakage proof for um trusses and then uh, wood i don't really have a stand because they all serve the same purpose but for the sake of our environment and how we keep ourselves i'll go for the trusses okay. over the, the wood, wood. All right. then ibr versus self-lock just choose self-lock on any day um first of all my name is imano i'm a staff of metfa roofing an estimator a quality assurance officer and then i also advise on how to go by your roofing okay. so that is actually that is me okay so how many years experience do you have because for me it's really important that when i'm interviewing someone the person has the needed level of expertise okay for me i've been here for the past let's say seven to eight years okay so that is actually what i've done all your life all of my life yes. okay so yes. yours is roofing specialist yes in ghana there are two main types of roofing that people do and i think the last time we spoke with kinsley he explained the benefits the advantages and disadvantages of both right but in the comment section a lot of people were saying we should recommend secret or hidden roof over the hip roof right because it's cheaper and you know the economy is very difficult nowadays from your expert opinion no, no. what would you advise when it comes to secret roof what are the things that people need to know for you to have peace when uh, you, you are doing the secret roof you have to first consider so many things okay first you have to consider your woodwork okay the type of wood you use for your woodwork it counts people don't really pay attention to the type of wood but there are some woods they are very light okay. there are some too they are heavy and then those heavy ones me i recommend the heavy ones because with the heavy ones as time goes on you see when you install it fresh there's water in it so okay. after seasoning and then uh, after the installation with time it becomes dry mm -hmm. so with the heavy ones when they when they become dry the woods are tough and but when, when you say it's tough what, what does it mean okay the root the the wood become very hard okay but with the light ones after the installation and then for a number of years the wood will become very soft mm. so anything can just break it uh -huh. i don't know if you've ever experienced if you've ever seen an example before so i recommend first the type of wood you will use so when you see the type of wood that i would use mm -hmm. can you give us some names of wood so that because if i'm a lay person me i don't know wood okay so what are the types okay we have some types like isa dahoma sapili and then there are so many other woods okay but the one that i recommend for your roofing is either isa or dahoma these two woods because those two woods are very hard woods that you can use for your building but, but there mm -hmm. are some people when you go there and tell them you want isa or dahoma they are not going to give you the original isa because there are some woods that looks like the isa but that is not isa so uh, there are ways there are some technical ways of identifying the isa and then the dahoma so okay. i advise you anytime you want to go and buy your wood make sure you go with someone who knows more on woods or your carpenter because the carpenter doing the work he knows if he does it well you are going to call him back so it's either you go with someone who knows the types of wood or you go with the carpenter doing the work okay all right so now that let's say we've gotten our wood what's next what else should we consider okay so after you consider the wood you want to use now you have to be concerned about your slope okay before the wood goes up because with the secret roofing 
everything is the slope okay when the slope is not very steep the risk of getting leakages is very high okay so it doesn't even matter the kind of roofing sheets that i'm using whether i'm using no. okay. that one doesn't matter it doesn't matter for now it doesn't mm. matter but the thing you have to look for after checking your wood you have to check your slope so what kind of angle are we looking at okay so um for angle I can say you should look for like a 45 degree angle. Okay. The slope should be like a 45 degree. Uh -huh. When the slope is 45 degrees, I think the slope is okay. Mm. And then you will be free from leakages and any other problem. So after the slope, what else do I need to okay, consider? So after you are done with your slope, you get the wood. Now, when the woodwork is done, the next thing you have to consider is the type of sheet you use. Okay, explain. Okay, so with the type of sheets, as we said earlier, at Metfab, you have two types of profiles. You have the self-lock, which is the small panels that after installation, you won't see any nail on it. And then we have the IBR, which has its full meaning to be the inverted box rib. Uh -huh. So we have these two types. With the secret roofing, I know most people are saying uh, the, the IBR is better than the self-lock because of the, the with but for a safer job for the future not today i would advise you go for the self-lock because one when you are installing the ibr they are being installed with screws mm -hmm. which have been stuck with the sheets on the wood and then we know that anything that is open any metal metallic substance that is open to moisture and air it can corrode or rust any point in time so once these screws that have been fixed with the sheets which is a metallic substance on the wood once it starts raining once water starts um, getting access to the neck of the screw you start getting leakages from that side because it has come in contact with water which is moisture and then air so it will start to corrode once the corrosion starts when it rains the uh, the neck of the screw gets widened so it starts to allow water to enter the building but with the self-lock after the installation you won't see any nail which will react with water and air do you have some it. samples that maybe when we are there you can show how it locks and how it will prevent all these things yeah. okay so we'll look at that as well okay so after the installation you won't see any nail on the roofing sheets which will react with water and air for rusting to occur so for that i'm able to add, to convince you to choose the self the self lock over ibr not i'm not saying ibr is not good though but the self lock is what i recommend so i hear you, you recommend the self lock yes over the IBR. So if somebody has done IBR right now, what, what, what does it mean? Should a person go and remove their roofing sheets or what? Oh no, you don't have to remove it. Once you are not getting any challenge, you don't have to remove it. And then with the installation, we have experts in the installation. Okay. Okay. So if you don't get an expert and then you use the IBR for your circuit roofing, the risk of leakage is very high. But once you get an expert and then he does the installation for you, you are safe. So if you install the IBR and then you are not getting any problem for now, don't say you are removing it. You have to keep it. But once you start getting challenges with it, I recommend you change it. Because one problem with uh, roofing is that once you start solving leakage issues, the more they start coming. Mm. Because the person who is going to solve the issue would have to work on the sheets okay. to solve the issue. And then it was installed some years ago. I am right. Okay. Okay. So so far we've spoken about the type of wood, we've spoken about the slope, and we've spoken about the sheets or the locking mechanism. Okay. Is there any other factor that would help to reduce the probability of leakage? for everything okay so to reduce the probability all relies on the installation process okay so once you get a good installer you are safe so at metfab you said you are head of quality assurance right yes. so what are some of the things that you check to ensure that no actually this client is getting value for their money so about metfab mm. inferior material okay so we ensure quality of the material now yet okay because you have a situation and now you have a board and so i'm not sure 
be ba se eh me dan yan ramo boss no eh me nya problem say yan pesa ni nti yan importing inferior goods okay we import high quality material a e chepa aha and na your installation we are very particular about our installation because say a dime be fair eh installation so as soon e be ju o fear eh installation wa ko to nya mo baby ya be boss na ya mo so yeah you have issues wa so mo njo because what say sika ko ta de na de nso amo wa what i say but oba met faba we are very particular on our installation your installers ni na ya expect okay ah omo wo answer me be ya be ya be recruit you as our installer you make sure say e juma no yobi awa ya che o woda experience a ye de ye juma ansa na ye recruit tu e wo met fab that is nt ye ye material no ye more very quality material we give you experts in the roofing industry okay no ma be ye we juma ma okay okay all right that's 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 good to know so apart from the type of wood and the sheet and all those things i know usually around the roofing area too there are other things that people do right to prevent leakage because it's not just the roof especially for secret roofing okay. right um what are some of the things that you consider as well okay so at metfab what we do is um there's a traditional way people used to do the secret roofing i don't know about a bit of a chisel or the honey na na or the bitumen atari one one sana was a plus channel that's time or coney name you who say it's a process no with time a baby aha and see what we do at Metfab and say, yeah, yeah, we see the truth. Because say, yeah, general, uh, na a quality a here, yeah, no, I assume you're in some here, yeah, you know, I dare you say, yeah, to any other, but I think you're about to do away now, why you need a baby, your boy, your sheet, we are your processor, yeah, they install it, your sheet walls are a preventive insult from entering your room. Processor, you come and say, yeah, boy, sheet, no, you know, your person was some joint, we cut the walls all around, baby, a wall will be either the side or the front or the back cut the walls and then we insert the sheets the molded sheet wall we insert it into the places that we cut the dust have been cleared we make sure everything is in order so once we do that we just insert the sheet sheet wall inside the holes we created and then boom we are good to go and it doesn't cause leakage it doesn't cause any leakage because they are causing leakage Aye, kwanya a dash it ne huwa in suonya kwanya eding FM. But in this case, that pros that kwanya in suon benya dia fahon. It has been sealed. Okay. Nti in suono e nya baby a nya den M fa. So that is it. Yeah, yes, our process na M ma. What day niye secured? Upi upi hunto no. Nya fe na likeji be bana upi upi abo kaiye in suon sa be se nya baby. Okay. Now speaking of the IBR versus the self lock, right? I saw this video on TikTok where somebody was saying that the the ibr is better than the self-love uh, what, what, what do you what do you think the person was saying the overlap is wider and then it has a bigger width which will prevent water from passing through the overlaps that is true but with the self lock too the overlap is there which prevents water from entering because it interlocks itself the female lock the male locks locks on the female lock to prevent water so if you have something like this where will water pass there is no place water will get to pass and, and enter your room okay so this is an example of the self lock roofing sheets it has two types of lock this is the female lock and this is the male lock the female lock always has a lip so this is the lip the reason for the lip is to help fasten the sheets which is the self lock sheet to the wood so with the use of um, fastness so that is the reason for the lip during the installation the male lock is being locked on the female lock like this you see so the fastness are being installed on this this is just a demonstration so the fastness are being installed on this and then the male lock always covers the lip it prevents uh, the fastener that was used from uh, direct access to uh, water and then air which are the main factors of corrosion and rusting. So once they are being installed like this, as I've demonstrated over here, and then as we can see behind me, they are locked. So with this one, you can't see any nail because with the help of the lip, we were able to fasten the self-lock sheets to the wood. That is how we install the self-lock on the wood. And then coming here, you will see this type. This type is known as the IBR. So the video we we're talking about, he said, because you have to overlap the sheets. You can see from here that the sheet has been overlapped twice. 
which is a very good point. One thing that concerns, you see the nails on it. With time, it will start rusting because it will get access to moisture and air, which are factors of corrosion. So with time, the holes that the, the screw created will start widening up, which will cause leakage. So this is a, this is a perfect example of how the IBR is installed. You see the nails after the installation. And then this is also a perfect example of how the self-lock is being installed. So from my expertise and my knowledge, I would advise that for secret roofing, not that the IBR is not good. The IBR is okay, but for my advice, I would advise you to go for the self-lock because for future, this one lasts. Okay, so at Metfab, we also have the lightweight steel truss. Okay. So this is an example of the lightweight steel truss. Uh -huh. This is the channel. This is known as the channel. So this one is a bit lighter okay. than the wood. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. steel is lighter than wood? Yes. Oh, okay. The steel is a bit lighter than the wood. That is why we call it lightweight steel truss. So why would someone want to use this instead of the wood? The okay. Wood? So with this one, it works like the way the wood works. Okay. Uh -huh. So how we install the wood. Purpose for installing the wood is the same purpose we install the truss okay. but one thing about this is that because it's lightweight and then it is galvanized it prevents corrosion prevents rusting so meaning this one lasts okay but we all know that with wood uh -huh, with wood no with time a yemre and your way to me to say uh wood be will be then be a big one so because wood na yemre but with way no and yemre and yeah they are a bit rusty now as you have a problem be a sign of wood so there be and a sign so you like Mm. A lightweight. So it doesn't so give like a lot of load to it, the yeah, house. It doesn't give a lot of load okay. to the house. To say any dia, it means ma load bad dinosaur. Okay. So I say, but this one, because it's lightweight, it doesn't give a lot of load to the building. So this one will like be using the nails when the IBR and the self lock and all this. Okay. So with this one, from the start, that is when I say the start, I mean the installation of the trusses. Okay. To the finish, which is the installation of the sheet. We don't use nail. Okay. Okay. We use screws. We have the type of screw we use at each point during the installation. So you one day I'll show you how the installation process is done. But today let's focus on uh, the installation of this one and then the use of truss. Okay. The reason why I'm you. asking is because I want to know, will I be using IBF or self-lock with this trusses or it has its own special roof? Okay, so with this trusses, as I said earlier, it serves the purpose the wood serves. So if the wood can take IBR, this one can take IBR. Okay. If the wood can take self-lock, this one also can take self-lock. You understand? Mm. So it serves the same purpose. Then it means, it means that this thing is going to be more expensive than the traditional wood oh so if you have a woodwork and the total cost is about ten thousand let's see just an example this one will cost you about twelve thousand to okay. twelve thousand five oh, okay you see so the difference is not that much just mm. 15 to 20 percent different from the traditional woodwork and uh, it's good it's why good. are we not preaching this one more instead of people going to cut trees in forests and then letting policemen arrest them on their way then people will come and use the rest of the land for Galam C. We should be pu pushing this one. Right? Yes, we should be pushing this one. So that is why I met Fab. Our prices are very affordable. So because we don't want deforestation, now we are hearing of climate change and other things because of our own practices. Mm. So we think the introduction of this will be able to solve the, pros the problem of deforestation because we are not going to cut down trees for roof installation. So it means that in the long term, if you are looking at durability part, they are future. In a long term, for durability and then uh, for like a couple of years, you can think of future. the steel trusses.